All right, but uh, it is a very, very big show, uh, and Damo's here. I know that we've been talking week after week about will football come back. It now seems uh, a fait accompli, Bill, that football will come back in some way, shape or form. Damo, <laughs> what form will that take? Yeah, well, let's look at the, um, the timeline around it, TJ. The National Cabinet met on the Friday just gone, and there were some really encouraging words to come out of that from an AFL perspective. And the key dates uh, right now are, are these ones. Uh, next Friday, May 8, Bill, uh, that is expected to then meet again the National Cabinet to, to ratify what it mooted out of last Friday, and that will be a relaxing of social distancing requirements. Well, just say it. Don't have to throw in mooted. <laughs> Significantly. Like no, well, it's got to be <laughs> voted on, Bill, on oh, Friday. Can we mute you while Damo's trying to do we'll, this? We'll Go to Monday week, OK? Monday week, that key date there, May 11, 10 of the 18 clubs are in Victoria. The, the Victorian government is still in a state of emergency. There is a, a very strong hope, we won't say expectation, but a strong hope that that will be relaxed on that day and at some stage of the week to two weeks after that, there will also be relaxing of those strict requirements in Victoria. What that ultimately means is this next uh, key activity. So we are right now in stage A. This is the Australian Institute of Sport edicted return to sport. We are right now in stage A. Right. Stage B, after this May 11 date, there will be an allowance for groups of up to 10 or less players in order to train. They still cannot have contact sport, but they'll be able to train. And then ultimately the requirement is to get to stage C, which will allow competition and, and full training. Again, we just don't know how long it's going to be in a stage B and a stage C. Okay. I spoke to Gillan McLaughlin yesterday, Teach, um, the Chief Executive Officer of the AFL. Asked him how, he, how long he thinks stage B will be in place. He gives an answer there. And also, for the first time, goes on record about a June resumption. Again, that we work through in the coming days with each state, Damo, but that feels, you know, about right. But I, I don't want to again run ahead. But, but, a, but, a, but a, a two week um, uh, period in say stage B is, is sounds plausible. But again, that will be decided by the state health officers yep. and the state authorities. Every day that goes past, there's more optimism and confidence that we're going to be, get back to play. And I think with the timings uh, where we are at stage. You know, we're in stage A now, but if you look around, it's plausible we'll get through into stage B relatively quickly. And if you get through that in a couple of weeks, then then a sort of, you know, mid, late June or whatever it is, I think, that you posed is, is plausible. Mm. Now, Damien, you know things that Gil can't say. Not necessarily. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. So... Gill said somewhere at the end of October for a grand final, maybe. Yep. Yep. Maybe. Now, this all can change, Gill, so don't... Yep. So, end of October. So, when do you think we start? I, I think there's a, a concerted effort now with the governments on board to this to have a, a resumption of AFL in mid-June. OK, mid and, if it mid -June. Is, and if it is mid-June and we get the 144 games in, yep. in sort of squeeze them yep. up, would the grand final be at the end of October? Yep. Would it? Potentially, yep. yeah. That, that's what they're lurking on. They, they're adamant and have been from the outset that when they do resume, to not have to shut down again. So everything's working backwards from that. What about crowds? Uh, unlikely crowds all the way through the way I read it. But they're, they're, again, there is a, a, a slimmer or, or a glimmer of hope yeah that there could be crowds late in the season, but it's not at the forefront. And the other key take out of what happened with the government on, and the National Cabinet meetings uh, last week was that the hub proposal, it's still on the table, but it is not the preferred option. It never has been. And there is a, a strong degree of, of confidence now in the whole industry that the fly-in, fly-out, and that's the phrase the industry is using, model as in the normal fixturing, can be the way we get through the remaining uh, matches of the year. So what, what's your grand plan for the grand final? Well, I just think it's a year of uh, experimenting, TJ. So mm. we've been speaking about a night grand final. Let's have a look at it this year. And if we like it, we like it and it stays. This is the year to try things differently. So it does allow some um, f flexibility in the fixture with racing as well, if you want to have uh, the racing situation during the day, time, the Cox yeah. Plate, mm. and then the AFL grand final at night. Let's have a look at it, see how it rates, see how it's responded to by the public. And, and Kane, I feel too it's been such a disrupted year that the actual venue itself should be open and, and, and I suppose allowed to go to the team that qualifies highest to play into the grand final. If that's West Coast, let it be played in Perth. If it's, if it's Port Adelaide, let that be played at, at uh, Adelaide Oval. I, I'm big on this. Mm. This, this year but isn't, so there, isn't there a contractual obligation to play it at the MCG though? Yes, there is. But if the AFL can't get well, access to the MCG, which, which still may be the case, cricket does take over the, the calendar oh, mid -October, of that yeah. And, and mid-October, yeah. as we speak, the T20 World Cup is, hasn't been cancelled yet. Now, they're still hopeful of that happening. But I don't think it's going to happen, but the Indians still could come out for a test series. They might want it then. The, the problem with, uh, and I hear what you're saying about if West Coast Eagles qualify on top of the ladder, then they're, you know, sort of for all intents and purposes, should be able... It sets a precedent then, doesn't it? 
to, to it's a play weird year. for, it's a for home year. grand finals. Uh, uh, it, it, it won't, TJ, because of the 2057 year, um, now commitment legally uh, to play the game, the grand final at the MCG. But that's in a normal season when it's played on the last Saturday of, uh, of September. Damo, yeah. it's fair to say that it's well ahead of what everybody thought. They're talking yeah. about maybe a December grand final at one stage. So is 17 games... Uh, per side still locked in. I yeah. mean, if we play October 31 grand final, they wouldn't look to extend it no. at all? No, the, the, the 144 games remaining, that's 16 games locked remaining. Locked in, and the final series is yet to be locked in. There could be an extra week of that. Okay.